But how do you respond when people say that you beat uh, Goldberg too early? I wasn't booking when Goldberg got beat. That's so that wasn't one, even your... That's no. the one thing that I love, you know. It's like, you know, I took over like in February. I beat Goldberg in December. You know? Right. I beat him in December. I started booking like February the 13th or 16th or something like that. It's just like, oh, Nash, Nash bo- starts book. I wasn't even booking, you know? So the timetables were pretty much all messed <laughs> up. Worked for Bill. <laughs> when Bill tells his story, I was booking. Right. You know? I, yeah, but this is the thing that people people say, oh, yeah, I, well, you beat Goldberg. I don't know, man. I was at the building every night when they were chanting, Goldberg sucks. You know? Right. I'm like thinking, okay, so you, he's, your, he's your top baby face. I never heard him chant, Austin sucks. You know? He's your top baby face. He's undefeated. He's now the New York Yankees. So you felt it was time to. And it wasn't like I went out there and had a baby face, baby face, beat him clean match. Right. We ran in more shit, did more to fucking protect him besides have Oswald shoot him from the <laughs> book depository. Right, right. And then fucking, that, and that's, and I did it for, and then I turn around and give the belt away. Four, what, four, four days later, five days later? Yeah, because I wanted the run with the strap, and I wanted the merchandise. I look like the biggest douchebag of all. It's funny, though. You know? I mean, how, how, was, how did that get me over? Explain how that gets me over. Right. I, I suffer way worse than Bill does. Without a, That's my next question, actually, coming up. So, um, In retrospect, do you think that the one-finger finish with Hogan was a good idea? Would have been if Bill wouldn't have fucking put his hand through a limo a couple weeks later because he got all pissed off because Scott said something on TV. And he would have done it. He would have mowed through all of us to finally get to Hogan, beat Hogan, get the strap, get another run. You know, we had seven months television planned right there. And he lost his head and put his, put his fist through a window. A lot of people say uh, people like yourself and Scott gave uh, Bill Goldberg bad advice when he came to WCW. How do you respond to that? We gave him bad advice. We gave him our agent. He went from making seventy-five grand about three million a year. If that's bad advice, <laughs> God, give me some. All right. Were you surprised when uh, Brett showed up? No. Okay. No. We had a favored nations. We were so glad he asked for three million. We were making one three. We had a favored nations in our contract. We were like, sure, bring Brett in. So you got yeah. Yeah, we'll, give, we'll take more money. People said that you and Scott tried to play politics with him behind the scenes and try to hold him back. Is that true at all? Or no, I didn't even work with him. I, didn't, I don't think I did one angle with Brett. But I think Brett was with me and for a while. We, we we did the NWO and Brett was in it. Right, I do remember that. Whose idea was it for the uh, I guess the uh, one finger finish? We all just kind of threw it around. Did you think it was good for business, or? Well, you put us where we needed to, you know. Right. I mean, to me, I I, I went from kind of, wow, I, I got this win over Goldberg, and I'm and I'm like soul searching. I find out that it wasn't a clean win. Geez, how can I make this right? And I'll wrestle Bill again. Bill gets arrested because of something he does with Elizabeth. I know you're behind it, Hogan. This whole big crowd in the, in the Georgia Dome thinks you're going to see this this battle. I'm going to beat Hogan's ass, and I lay down. People got pi- are pissed, are still pissed about that because it worked. It worked because they're pissed. They're fucking pissed. It's like fuck, you got me, and I hate you for it. It wasn't because what. What, they wanted to see the Nash Hogan battle. Well, that would have been a, that would have been a barn burner. <laughs> How do you respond to uh, Eric Bischoff in his book? He calls you a uh, big lazy. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, he can say whatever he wants to say. Do you know why he feels like that? <sighs> um, I think I had lost my desire, uh, you know, to to perform at that level, you know, just, I did, I did, I did, I mean, it was, it's not like it wasn't justified, you know, but at the same, at the same token, it's like anything else. Wasn't too many guys in that hierarchy working harder than I was, <laughs> you know, 